here we are at Scottish Coal site on the Panesque, the Panesque site. The guys are just having their lunch at the moment. We've rescued a lot of fish from the Panesque burn. This is uh, an existing channel. Within a few days this will all be stripped off and they'll be removing coal from below the line of this uh, existing channel. This section here shows one of the problems with the old channel of the Panesque burn. This concrete section which extends for 120 metres. Down below that there's a lovely pool. The, the concrete channel, of course, all of, the, all of these problems will be removed when the, the barn is diverted this week into the new channel. You can see some fish rising at the top of this pool. We'll be catching these shortly. The, the barn's running down this course since 1978, so this is not the natural course of the Panesque barn. But they made a very good job of it, and of course in the last 30 or 40 years it's become quite naturalised. In the background there you can see one of the big excavators um, they're just uh, clearing the overburden so that uh, they can get down to the coal. There's a live box here, you can see how many fish there are in this. Uh, we reckon 500 at least, a thousand fish in there, mostly salmon fry, a few par and uh, a few trout. So here's the here's the team electrofishing. This little backwater, quite a good place for trout fry in these little quiet spots. Funny how you get the well, it's interesting how you get the different types of fish in different locations. Quite a lot of bedrock in this particular section. So well, it's even despite that, there are still quite a few fish there. You can see there are a few trout fry turning up. When the electrodes passed over them, they tend to get stunned and tend to swim towards the ring and they'll be immobilised briefly and they can be netted out of the water. As soon as they're taken out of the electrical field, they recover. We found a surprising amount of fish in this uh, burn this time round. We surveyed this twice before for Scottish coal and uh, I must admit we didn't find near as many fish as we are at the moment an abundance of salmon fry this year, so obviously some adult salmon made it up into the barn last winter to spawn. A lot, a lot of bedrock there, so there's not actually that much cover in this particular section for fish. Um, cover's really important, that can be either boulders, uh, cobbles under the water, or overhanging uh, banks or vegetation, but we're still getting a few fish here. About three, three or four in that netful. Good to see them keen to catch the fish. Well done. Guys. Stuart just puts a ring in the water and draws it downstream and the fish are attracted towards the ring and are carried downstream the current into the nets. That's the, that's the general tactic for catching them. But sometimes you've just got to um, put your net in and grab them where you can. See in the buckets that Gillian are strewing or uh, strewing, strewing or holding there, the quite a lot of fish. They're all swimming around quite healthily. They recover normally recover fully from electric fishing. That's a stone loach. An introduced fish in Ayrshire, but it's very common in the River Ayr. I'm not sure if you can, if these fish, I can see them clearly with the naked eye, but I'm not sure how well they'll show up on the video. There are lots of wee uh, fry in the tail of this pool here. Another salmon fry there. People that have never seen electrofishing before are often astounded by the number of fish that are present in a site. Now, without the electrofishing equipment here, you could walk by this site and, and not see a fish. Very good technique for, uh, well, in this case, removing, rescuing fish, but also for 
assessing fish population. Today we're using the generator, uh, we've also got backpack equipment, but for this type of work where we're doing a big area, the batteries would run out quite quick, so we're using the generator it can give us continuous uh, power to the electrician equipment. I think we're doing a pretty good job at clearing out the fish on this burn. We won't get them all, but uh, you know, if we're getting 80, 90, 80 percent or so, that's a really good reduction. And uh, these will be put back into the upper reaches of the burn, but hopefully, the, in due course, they'll migrate down into the new channel. We're just fishing up through the tail of this pool at the moment. I think when we get to the top end of this pool, we might find some bigger fish, some trout. Quite a big pool created just below this um, concrete section here so it'll be interesting to find out what we find upstream of this section we're finding a lot of salmon fry today below it this sort of feature is not that attractive for fish to pass through so tomorrow we'll be fishing above it and we'll find out if uh, well it'll be interesting to see if there's a reduction in, in the number of salmon fry salmon par appearing now in the, the larger salmon par in the deeper water. It's really undercut, it goes in two or three feet back in there. Well, our salmon par came out but we were hoping for a bigger trout. That's a team up to the top of the pool now, just searching under these overhanging banks. We've got a lot of fish out of this pool. Very good sort of upland Ayrshire burn. All this 